So you've been working in conservation for quite a while now. Um, what would you say are some of the biggest challenges that you've seen in conservation in the past couple of decades? Well, when I started working in the environmental field in the late 70s, the Amazon was a far off place to many people. The threats were small. There was a lot of untouched rainforest. The threats had grown uh, astronomically, exponentially in the last couple of years. And the Amazon, like many forests around the world, particularly tropical forests, were really being hammered. So the need to protect and preserve is greater than ever. And we've long heard that indigenous cultures and knowledge are disappearing faster than the forests. Is that still the case in the Amazon today? Well, for 40 years we've been hearing that the rainforest is disappearing, but what we've heard less of is that the indigenous peoples of the forest are disappearing much, much faster. These people are not only the best stewards of the forest, these people are the people that know these forests best. And almost every useful compound that's come out of the Amazon, whether it's curare for surgical anesthesia, or whether it's pineapples or cassava, was first learned of from indigenous peoples. So this idea that in the age of high throughput screening we can just find all the chemicals and figure out what they're good for is theoretically possible but not realistic. The best way to figure out how to use the library, the best way to figure out what's in the library is to turn to the librarians, that is the people who know these forests best.